Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing an iOS 7 hidden features review for you guys because I know you liked my regular review. This is going to be a rundown on some of the hidden features that I've found as I've been messing around the past day with this operating system and there's going to be some hidden features that you guys might not know about in iOS 7. So first, as many of you have asked before, I was able to get this because I'm an Apple developer. I did not cheat and get it uh, illegally anyway. So you have to be a developer for it to actually activate, which I am and I pay for. So first, let's get into the features. Uh, one of the first features that I actually noticed, as I said I am an Apple developer, is Spotlight Search, which I couldn't find in the last video. All you do is swipe down from the top, and you can get Spotlight Search. You can search for whatever you want. It works the exact same way. This is actually more convenient for me because it is hidden away now and not in the way, and it still works just as well as it did before. You can type in anything, and it will work. So that is where Spotlight Search is in iOS 7. Next, a lot of you guys have asked this, these little dots in the upper left, I don't know if you can see them right now, but there you go. Um, those are actually the signal bars. Apple replaced the Verizon and AT&T and any carriers bars with little dots, which I am actually not used to yet. I'm getting used to it. I do like it. Um, it works well, but it is a lot more simple, but I do wish they still had the bars on the operating system. So... Next feature that I actually noticed is the charging logo. If you can notice here up in the upper right, it has actually a little flashing charging logo, not just the power bar going up and down. And also here on the lock screen, it says 100% charged. It will tell you how charged it is and then show the date rather than having a little logo there. It will, the logo for the charging will show in the middle of the screen right when you hook it up, but not all the time, which is kind of cool. I like that better. Um, now, also, I showed this in the last video, but you couldn't really tell. The backgrounds are actually motion sensitive and are 3D. So I'll go ahead and put up a dynamic wallpaper here just to show you guys that it actually does move more because a lot of you guys were asking me about this. So set, set both, go to home. I'll go to the lock screen here. As you can see, as I move, the bubbles are actually moving on the screen, which is rather cool. Go here, it works just the same way on the home screen of the device. As you can see, the bubbles move around greatly as I move my phone. So it is dynamic wallpapers. It is awesome. I know a lot of droids already had this on them, but it's gl I'm glad that Apple is actually implementing this into iOS as a lot of people wanted it. Also, a feature that a lot of people have noticed that I love that actually someone pointed out on my site is if you, you can actually put newsstand in a folder now. Simply click, drag it, and you can put it into a folder. Finally, and there you go, that's a new folder. I'm going to bring ahead and drag it out here. But finally, newsstand can be put into a folder. I love it. Um, I've been waiting for that for a long time. And you can no longer uh, have newsstand annoying you if you would like to put it inside of a folder. Um, also, something smaller here that I love, that's a nice little tweak that was on some drill break tweaks. So if you look closely here, it is 10.42 a.m. where I am. And the clock is actually live updating. The hands on the clock actually move as the time moves. So that's a nice little feature that Apple implemented that is definitely a hidden feature. Someone else pointed that out on my site as well, and I did not notice that. So that's very cool that Apple updated that, um, and I love it. It's a great new feature that was also included in Jailbreaks and now is implemented in the actual system itself. Also, there is call blocking for FaceTime, iMessages, and, and calling. So I'll go ahead down here to this guy. Uh, if you scroll all the way down, as you can see, you can click block this caller. And uh, up will come a little thing that says block contact. It says, will you not be able to receive phone calls, messages, or FaceTime from people on the block list? So it works very well. Um, and you can block people that you don't want to talk about. I don't know if that's a hidden feature, but that is just something I didn't mention in the last video that I thought a lot of you guys would want to know. And something that I still haven't figured out how to do, if you guys can figure out how to do, is in the notification center here, I cannot find the tap to tweet or tap to Facebook post um, in any of these um, tabs. So if you guys find out how to do that, please let me know. But that is another feature. It looks like Apple has actually uh, removed those. However, there is some hope for this because if you actually type that in into Spotlight, it seems to show up. Um, and also, if you type in voice memos, Apple seems to have removed voice memos, but it works in Spotlight as well. So I'm not sure if those apps will be implemented in the future, but if you guys find a way to do that, please let me know and I'll upload a video on it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. This was a rundown of iOS 7 hidden features, some quick ideas and video features that I found just messing around with the operating system. Uh, again, hopefully you liked it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more Apple content. If you haven't checked out my WWDC recap, my iOS 7 review, or any of my other 
uh, Apple WWDC reviews, they will be in the description as well as on my channel. So be sure to check that out and subscribe. Rate thumbs up and favorite this video. And for more updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Google+, my website, my Facebook page, and my other partner channel for vlogs in the description. Those are great ways to get in touch with me. And I'll be uploading new videos in the near future, guys. So stay tuned for the great content. Enjoy this video, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.